spectrotropic nutrition it takes place in all all animals and in non green plants this type of nutrition takes place only in animals and non in green plants heterotrophic nutrition in plants it is of three kinds parasitic insectivorous and saprotrophs now what is parasitic plant parasitic plant are those plant which live in on other plant and take food and shelter from that particular plant the plant which on which it lives is called host plant and this particular plant is called parasitic plant they these plant live on on that particular plant and take food and and shelter next one is the example of parasitic plant is cascuta dodder it is non green plant and takes food and shelter from from green plant so green plant is called host plant and this plant is called cascuta or per or dodder is called parasitic plant next one is insectivorous insectivorous is also insectivorous insectivorous is also a kind of plant which for example pitcher plant pitcher plant when when an insect insect uh, shifts on this plant then it covers that that insect and insect is digested by this plant so this plant this plant acts as heterotroph it is non green plant and it for example pitcher plant this is called insectivorous why we say insectivorous because it eats insect why it eats insects because it has nitrogen deficiency it gets its nitrogen by eating these insects so it is called insectivorous plant and example for this is pitcher plant pitcher plant third one is saprotroph saprotroph what is saprotroph saprotroph are are those plants which which secretes a chemical chemical which destroy the the uh, decaying parts of plants and animals that 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 living thing is called saprotroph saprotroph example fungus mushroom mushroom is the best example for saprotroph saprotroph forms a chemical that destroys the the that dissolves the decaying parts of of plants and takes nutrition from that plants so they are called saprotroph example for saprotroph is fungus mushroom that is mushroom mushroom R double O M F mushrooms. Mushroom is one of the best example of saprotrophs. So in this chapter we studied about nutrition, types of nutrition, why nutrition is essential, and what is the importance. Now I shall tell you about what is the importance of photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is very very important for our daily life because photosynthesis gives us food plant also uses it and most of the the food of plants are used by us so photosynthesis by photosynthesis balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide also maintained due to photosynthesis we know that carbon dioxide is formed due to different type of vehicles factories etc this carbon dioxide is balanced by by oxygen formed by photosynthesis so very very important 
photosynthesis is very very important for our daily life for it is for us it is not for for it, for itself it is for human being other animals so and good atmosphere good nature good environment so plant is very very important for our daily life thank you now i shall i shall teach you the second experiment second experiment is chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis how can you show that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis for this experiment we take a variegated leaf do you know variegated leaf what is variegated leaf variegated leaf leaf is that leaf which contains green and non green part of of uh, as well yani if or you can say if a leaf contains green and non green part then we can say that leaf is called variegated leaf so we take a variegated leaf and like croton money money plant leaf so this these two leaf are called variegated leaf now mark green and non green part part of that particular leaf boil it in it in alcohol after washing put iodine solution on it its green part becomes blue black and non green parts become brown this experiment shows that chlorophyll is essential to photosynthesis in variegated leaf we boil it in alcohol and after washing it we put a star solution on it what we see we see that the non green part becomes brown color and the green part of the leaf which was marked earlier becomes blue black blue why it became blue black because a star is formed on the in this particular part so due to a starch it becomes blue black why a starch is formed because chlorophyll was present in, in that part so we can say that chlorophyll is necessary for photosynthesis third experiment is carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis how can you show that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis we take a bottle we cover it with cork we make a hole we cut a, a we cut a cord in such a way that one of the leaves goes inside the inside the bottle and other leaf goes outside the bottle we put some qs solution in this bottle why we put qs solution because qs solution absorbs carbon dioxide co2 is absorbed by absorbed by qs solution now put it in sunlight for 5 to 6 hours after 5 to 6 hours we we remove the two leaf and put it in put it in al alcohol solution and warm it what we see we see that both both leaf becomes non green after boiling in alcohol after that we put a star solution on both the leaves what we see we see that the leaf which was outside the bottle it become it became blue black but the leaf which was inside the bottle became brown color why it is so because the carbon dioxide present inside the bottle 
was absorbed by QS solution. This leaf didn't get carbon dioxide due to absence of carbon dioxide. A starch is not formed on this part, on this leaf, but that leaf which is outside the bottle, it got carbon dioxide. So a starch is formed in this in this leaf. So when we put after uh, when we put a starch solution after boiling in alcohol to both of the leaf, this leaf or you can say a leaf, a leaf became blue black and B leaf, this leaf is B leaf, this leaf became brown color due to absence of carbon dioxide. So by this experiment we can say that carbon dioxide is essential for photosynthesis. Photosynthesis can take place only when carbon dioxide is present. And you know QH is is the solution which can absorb carbon dioxide. Write down.